Hey guys. So if I look a little funny today, it's because I have no eye makeup on. I do have face makeup on and lipstick and I did my brows, but I have no eye makeup on because I went to take my eye makeup off last night and I, when I was wiping across my eye with the cotton pad, it was, it felt like glass. It hurt so bad. And today, my eye is all swollen and red and I don't know what's going on. Um, yesterday was the first day that I had ever used Juvia's Place eyeshadows, but I don't think it had anything to do with that. I've been noticing lately that my eye makeup remover has been um, really bothering my skin. I had been using... Um, like a generic version of the Neutrogena eye makeup remover and that was actually making it feel like my eyes, the skin on my eyes was burning so I stopped using that and I switched back to micellar water and now it feels like that is bothering my my skin too so I don't know what is going on but um, I thought maybe it had something to do with, remember I told you I was experimenting with using that Zote laundry soap to clean my brushes? Well, yeah, it does get the brushes super clean, but that was definitely irritating my skin. So I stopped cleaning my eye brushes with that and just was cleaning my face brushes. And even that, I think, is too much. So I just took the soap and put it out to completely dry. Um, I'm not going to use that anymore to clean my brushes. I think it's just way too harsh. It's too bad because you should see when I clean my foundation brush, you should see all the brown like runoff that comes off the brush when I use that. But it's not worth it if I can't, if I can't wear makeup because my skin is so irritated. So yeah, I... This eye is all swollen and everything. But anyways, that's not the topic of today's video. I did want to mention that, though, because I had talked about that soap in a video, and um, I don't want anybody else to experience what I've been experiencing. So, yeah, don't use that to clean your brushes. I'm going to go back to using the toned soap like I always have that I never had any problems with. I either use tone or I use um, the Tone knockoff that they sell at Dollar General. Um, their brand is Modessa, and it says on the wrapper, um, if you like Tone, try this, because it's basically the same ingredients. So I use either one or the other. So today, just now, when I went to wash my brushes, I used Tone soap. So hopefully I won't have any more problems, because... I don't see how it could possibly be the micellar water because that's so gentle. I mean, that's the whole point of using that to remove your eye makeup is because it's gentle. And then I'm using it with a cotton round, so it couldn't be that. So anyway, so what I want to talk to you about today is the hows and whys of the no-buy that I talked about in yesterday's video. Now, if you didn't see yesterday's video, I announced that I'm not going to be buying makeup for a while. I don't know how long I want to do this for. I'm not going to set any time parameters. I know a lot of times when people do this, they'll say, you know, my year of no buy or whatever. I don't, I don't want to make it that strict. All I know is that I want to stop buying makeup just for now. And how long that's going to last, I have no idea. I guess I'll figure it out as I go along. But I'm kind of nervous about doing this because I tried to do a no-buy once before and I failed miserably. Actually, that was a project pan that I did. It wasn't a no-buy, it was a project pan. And it, it just, it was a big fail. I mean, I did what I said I was going to do, but the things that I panned were like sample sizes and travel size things and you know it wasn't full size product so that's kind of a cop out and a cheat and so I feel like that was a fail 
But, um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to set myself up for any specific time frame. And uh, as far as the whys go, though, I touched upon that a little bit yesterday, but I really didn't tell you the, all the reasons why I want to do this. So yesterday I said that I felt like I had way too much makeup, although I have the least amount that I've ever had since I've been on YouTube, but I like that. And because I don't have as much as I used to, I'm actually like rotating my products and using things that I hadn't used in a while and I want to be able to use my whole collection because the way things that were working out before I was constantly buying new stuff then trying it and then moving on to some other new thing so I the only things that I was really using up was mascaras and um, not much else not much else. I would just start to make progress on using something and then I would buy something new from that category and the other thing would get pushed aside and never completely used up. So it's not so much that I want to use up what I have as I just want to be able to get more use out of what I buy, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But there are other reasons why I want to do this too. Um, there is so much stuff in landfills. When I do my monthly purges, which by the way, I had stopped filming those, but I'm going to try to remember to go back to filming those again. Once a month, I have to throw away things because of their age. I go through my entire collection once a month and just pull all the things that it's time, you know, because every category expires at different time frames but I'm gonna go back to filming those again and I should have one of those coming up soon um, because I like to do them either the last day of the month or the first day of the new month and I will try to do that as close as I can to that time frame unless there's a reason why I can't um, which that reminds me my husband has scheduled a vacation day We've got a holiday coming up, and I have to have some work done on my car. So if you notice that in the immediate future there aren't quite as many videos as there normally is, those are the reasons, because I don't film when my husband's home, and if I have to bring my car, not if, when I have to bring my car in to have work done on it, that kills the whole day. It takes so long. The place where I bring it, is, um, well, I bring it to Toyota because I don't like the idea of anybody that's not a Toyota certified mechanic working on my car because I drive a Prius and not every mechanic is totally familiar with hybrid technology. So I just feel a lot more comfortable bringing it directly to Toyota. But when I go there, it no matter what day or what time I go there, it's packed. There's like dozens of people sitting and waiting for their car to be serviced. It's it's a very long process. <laughs> so that kills that whole day. So anyways, um, I just wanted to mention why there would be less videos than normal in the immediate future. Okay, so back to what I'm talking about. When I do my monthly purges, and I'm throwing all this stuff away because it's expired and has to be tossed. Um, I always feel horrible about it, not just because I spent money for this stuff and now I can't use it, but because it's going in a landfill. And I hate the idea of that. So if I go on a no-buy, I'm just going to be using what I have and... I'll still have to throw things away because they'll be expired. But my goal is to, even when the no buy is over at some point, I want to buy less moving forward because I don't want to be a contributor of stuff going into a landfill. It's the way things are packaged and everything, you really there isn't that much makeup that can be recycled, the containers. Um, if you look at 
any of the containers, they don't have recycle symbols on them, usually. And mo every town has a specific recycling program that they have to adhere to the rules. And with most of the recycling programs in all the towns and cities that I've ever lived in, you look for the triangle, there has to be a specific number in the triangle, and those are the only plastic containers that can be recycled. Well, I'm just looking at my containers now, and hardly any of them have triangles, and they don't have a number in the middle. So that would not be acceptable for the recycling program in the city that I live in. So there's that. But aside from spending so much money on makeup unnecessarily, and it's wasting the makeup that I'm buying because it's just getting thrown in the trash after a certain amount of time, aside from all those things that I just mentioned. The other reason why I don't want to um, buy any makeup for the immediate future and then in the future buy less makeup is because I think that a lot of people, myself included, almost get like obsessed with it and always want to keep trying the newest latest thing and it just gets to be too much like we don't need this much makeup it's a hobby yes and it's fun to try new makeup but I feel like we all get just carried away with it um, I was looking at my Instagram and my Twitter uh, last night or this morning, I forget now, and I'm looking at it now with fresh eyes, with a different perspective, and it's just, uh, I realize now that the excess of it all, and it's just not good. It's, it's not good to waste the money. It's not good to um, contribute to things going in landfills. It's, it's not good to have to just throw things away that are barely used. I mean, I don't know. I, I just feel like I'm seeing this all from a different perspective. I started a project in my home about mm, three years ago, I would say, and I caught, referred to it as my cleaning out project. And basically, I just had a lot of stuff sitting around that wasn't being used and served no purpose it, other than creating clutter in my home. And I actively worked on getting rid of stuff that I just wasn't using that was clutter. And I did a good job, but as I look around, I still see more things that need to be gotten rid of. And... Um, you should see my closet. I have a closet for my stuff. My husband has a closet for his stuff. And my closet, at one time I had really gotten it out of control, but now it's out of control again. It needs to be gone through and I just dread it because um, some things I just don't want to get rid of because either they have sentimental attachment or I might use them again someday in the future. And I don't want to have to, I don't want to get rid of something and then have to buy it again. That is a total waste of money. So we don't have a basement in my house. My house is um, built on a cement slab or it sits on a cement slab. So I don't have a basement. So the only storage I have is my closets and we have a shed, but the shed is full of a lawnmower and tools and, um, you know, shed stuff. So I don't have a lot of room in there. I don't have any spare room in there at all. It's at capacity. We're only allowed to have a certain size shed and um, that's it. it. It can't be bigger than a certain size. So there's no room out there to store anything. But, and I don't like to store things in the shed anyway because I want to be able to get at my stuff without having to go outside because, you know, maybe it's winter or maybe something might be affected by temperatures. 
uh, like I used to have a scooter and um, oh, I didn't tell you guys about that yeah I had to get rid of my scooter we have new landlords where we are um, I own my home but I don't own the land that it sits on so the person that owned the place where I live they sold it and the new landlord is really really strict and has a whole new set of uh, rules and so they said no scooters no skateboards no um, motorcycles no basically you can't have anything but the vehicle that you're driving is what it boils down to and so I gave my scooter away to a good home one of my neighbors I gave it to her and she gave it to her grandsons they're still not quite old enough to use it but it will save their parents, you know, hundreds of dollars when they are old enough to use it. So, yeah, I don't have my scooter or my skateboard anymore, but they went to a good home. But anyways, um, back to, boy, am I getting sidelined today. Focus, focus, Deb. Um, so I need to clean out the clutter in my closet because it's totally out of control. But I have, uh, one of the things that has inspired me to really get my act together and get rid of the clutter. No, I did. I know what you're thinking. No, I didn't read the Marie um, Kondo. Is that her name? Kondo? Kondo? I didn't read that book about, you know, organizing your life and everything. I didn't have to because I was already painfully aware that I had too much stuff. And um, I still have things that I want to get rid of. And I... I'm pretty good about bringing stuff or giving stuff to places where it can be used or recycled. Um, I don't put anything in the trash that I don't have to put in the trash. Things always go to their proper place. <laughs> but um, yeah, moving forward, I would like to reduce the size of my makeup collection and not get it, not have it be like a crazy amount because I feel like I can still have a YouTube channel and talk about makeup and have it be um, about makeup but that's the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is I want my channel to be about more than makeup I had this idea I don't know what you guys are gonna think of it but I guess I'll find out when I start doing those kinds of videos but I had this idea where I was putting on makeup, doing a get ready with me video, but talking about subjects other than makeup. I just think that could be more interesting in some ways than doing a dedicated video to like a very specific makeup oriented video because it could be both. It could be like a hybrid because I would be putting on makeup, listing all the products that I'm using in the description box, and then talking about an entirely different subject that I'm interested in. Like you know that I've done videos in the past about what I'm watching for TV shows. Um, Cause I love, I love to watch TV just like everybody else does. And I have Netflix and HBO. So now I have even more options of interesting things to watch. But, um, so I could be talking about the current show that I'm watching while I'm doing my makeup. And there's so many other things that I could be talking about too, like current events or, you know, expressing my opinion about different things or things that I want to make you guys aware of. Like I did that video recently where I was talking about, um, private labeling in makeup. But there's so many other things to talk about. I mean, the sky's the limit. And um, so I would like to start doing stuff like that, too, and just making it like a, I was going to say a, a vlog makeup channel, but vlogging is really just filming your life and what is going on in your life. And that doesn't appeal to me because those kind of videos are so hard to film and there are a lot of problems that surround them because 
technically you are not supposed to film other people without their consent. So the second you go out in public and show people in the background in your videos, you have uh, broken the law, really. It's an invasion of privacy and you didn't get those people's permission. And especially where my channel is monetized, now, you know, I'm making money off showing a video that somebody else is in that doesn't want to be. So that's why it's better, I feel, to film in the privacy of your own home because it can get kind of sketchy from a legal standpoint to do those kinds of videos. People somehow get away with it, but I'm sure that there are lawsuits going on that we're not aware of because they did it. So anyway, that's something to keep in mind. But okay, so I've rambled on now for over 20 minutes, so that's enough. But I just wanted to let you know the full scope of why I want to do this no buy and how I'm going to do it. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.